for you tonight. WLWT News Science Todd Dykes has reaction to the grand jury's decision. But we begin tonight with Karen Johnson, who's been covering this case since it broke. And Karen was the only local reporter there today as this major announcement uh, was released to the public. Karen, bring us up to date. Oh, well, Sheree, the grand jury consisted of nine people, and they were given three options murder, reckless homicide, or negligent homicide. But in the end, at least three voted not to indict the Beaver Creek police officer who shot and killed a Fairfield man here at the Walmart. This is a real automatic rifle. This is the rifle that Mr. Crawford was carrying that day. A BB gun. John Crawford III, seen here in the Walmart surveillance video, picking up that gun from a shelf, holding it in one hand while talking on his cell phone with the other. Mr. Crawford still on the phone, carrying that rifle in his left arm. The Fairfield man walks through the store. At this point, he's got the gun on his shoulder. Passes a few shoppers. One of them sees Crawford and calls 911. I'm at the uh, Beaver Creek Walmart. There's a uh, gentleman walking around with a gun in the store. Prosecutors say the caller is about 100 feet away from Crawford at the time. Okay, sir, tell me what's going on now. Um, I don't know what he's doing. He's just like looking around, waving it, waving it back and forth. Okay. Sir, what type of gun is it? Is it a shotgun or is it a handgun? It looks like a rifle. Still on the phone, Crawford is seen swinging the gun. A woman and two children then turned down that aisle. He just pointed it like two children. About a minute later, Beaver Creek police arrive. One officer fires his gun. So he fires two shots. Crawford was hit by both. Once in the elbow, the other bullet went into his side. He didn't commit a crime. He didn't do anything wrong. At the same time, the police officers have to be judged on everything they had. All I can say about this case, it's a tragedy. It's a And Pete Meyer called what happened a perfect storm of circumstances. For one, the gun was out of the box that it should have been in inside Walmart. Also, he says Crawford was talking on the phone and appeared distracted. And also, Beaver Creek police had just gone through active shooter training two weeks prior. Reporting live tonight in Beaver Creek, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen, thank you. John Crawford's family declined on camera interviews today. They told us they will speak publicly tomorrow morning. But the family attorney really released a statement this afternoon saying the family is, quote, extremely disappointed, disgusted, and confused, and that they feel like they've been victimized all over again. So our team coverage